Now this weekend goes down in history as a day with possibly the deepest ever significance for India's strategic power. The country launches, if you believe it, its first home-built nuclear submarine to be christened the INS Arihant from a secret location in Vishakhapatnam in Andhra Pradesh on Sunday. Headlines today has obtained unparalleled access to information about this top secret program, one that holds the potential to completely change the face of India's war waging capabilities. India's deep dark secret 5,000 tons of black metal a silent killer unseen unheard but with the ability to strike out of nowhere with spine-chilling force she's called INS Arihant Sanskrit for destroyer of enemies and she's now being unleashed she is India's historic first home-built nuclear submarine. Blanketed in secrecy for over three decades, the time is finally here for INS Arihan to get acquainted with the deep blue sea. With the flooding of INS Arihan's top secret dock facility this weekend, India opens a blistering new chapter in its military history. A silent killer of the deep with ballistic missiles that could potentially strike just about anywhere. The nuclear submarine in its fleet, the Indian Navy, automatically becomes the most critical part of the India's strategic nuclear forces. In the short history of the nuclear deterrence, nations have learned that the only truly credible deterrent platform is a nuclear submarine. So against that background, the launch of India's first nuclear submarine is a very significant step. Any nation will think twice or even three times before thinking of carrying out a surprise nuclear attack on India. Because the consequences will be there that he will be destroyed uh, because he will not be able to destroy all our nuclear assets in his first strike. So the submarine at sea is invulnerable. India has become just the sixth country to have accomplished the phenomenally complex task of building its very own nuclear submarine. Uh, I understand that three such uh, submarines have been sanctioned in principle and when they constitute that fleet, we will have a permanent presence at sea mm -hmm. of a nuclear submarine under the water ready to obey the commands of the National Command Authority and act as a deterrent which is really the defense of the Indian people and the Indian nation. The INS Arihant is one of the world's smallest nuclear submarines but for India it's a giant that arrives not a minute too soon. INS Arihant is India's first nuclear submarine. Now it may take a few years for her to actually become a full-blown strategic asset to the country and contribute to national security and she may not be completely comparable to some of the other nuclear submarines that are out there but the fact remains that INS Arihant is India's first nuclear submarine and that has to account for something. With Danish Siddiqui in Delhi, Shiv Arur for Headlines Today.